We're also learning more now about what it was like for the other students who were in school at the time. A student sharing their experience with News 4's Derek Ward about what it was like during that tense lockdown. A Magruder student who was in a classroom at the time of the shooting says the announcement of a lockdown around 1 p.m. was his first indication that something was wrong. Initially, I didn't really think anything of it. Um, until later on, which is when the lockdown lasted until for like almost an hour or so. He doesn't want to be identified, doesn't want his name used. He tells us that classmates were Googling the school, checking out social media sites, and that's how they found out about the shooting. By then, parents had also found out, and police were en route. Our kids go to the same school, and we um, were just on the phone trying to comfort each other. Now, parents had complained about the lack of information they were getting from authorities. Montgomery County Police Chief Marcus Jones said during a Zoom conference with Magruder parents, teachers, and students earlier today that it was a strategic decision not to tweet or release too much while the scene was active. The suspect may have had a cell phone, and if we are tweeting out information that might be beneficial to that suspect, that could be dangerous in its own right. The good thing is, is that our kids have cell phones, right? So we were yeah. keeping in touch with them. They were giving us real time updates. Meanwhile, back in that classroom where that student we spoke to was, police showed up. The police or the SWAT came in. They said to everyone to put their hands up. Um, so they went to the back of the classroom where the kid was and they kind of pushed into the ground. Um, they didn't use too much force, but obviously a little bit. So they cuffed him and they brought him outside. And we came up with a way to strategize to actually get the student and his uh, and those individuals who were in the class nearby with him to get them out of that room uh, safely. The suspect is now identified as 17-year-old Stephen Austin Jr. The student we spoke to says he doesn't know him. And he says after Austin was in custody, the police told the class to remain calm and escorted them to the auditorium while parents outside waited and worried. By 6 p.m., the students were being dismissed, and the investigation that may yield answers to their questions and those of authorities would begin. In Montgomery County, Derek Ward, News 4. And stay with News 4 and our NBC Washington app for updates all weekend long on the latest developments on that school shooting.